Hello, welcome to my channel. The first thing I want to mention that is if you have a loved one or a friend or someone that went missing, make sure that they're in NamUs. Make sure somebody has entered them in NamUs because the investigators enter them in NamUs. And in Georgia, I feel like they're not in NamUs. I feel like maybe some of the missing persons case files might have been damaged during a flood or maybe a pipe burst or a fire or something because I don't feel like they're all in there. So we have this person, and they're not sure if it's male or female. It's African-American. They were found June 3rd, 1985 in Oglethorpe County, Georgia. Est estimated age to be 30 to, 50, 40, 30 to 54 years old. So if you have a loved one or a friend or someone that went missing, make sure they're in NamUs because the investigators would have entered them into NamUs. And if not, if you can't get them put in NamUs, see if you can't get them put into the Doe Network or the Charlie Project. So we have this missing person. And my first thought would be probably somebody that was missing in that area, but I couldn't find anybody probably. So I have these other ones that I've entered instead. And found in a dark blue, black canvas carrying bag off County Road 190, 15 miles northeast off Lexington, Georgia, found with clothing. And there's no description of the clothing, so I don't know if it's male or female clothing or anything like that. Um, so we'll look at some missing persons. This is where, the area where they found them. So you see it's right here. This is Atlanta, Georgia, and there's Augusta, Georgia. You can see South Carolina's right there. You see Chattanooga's here, Alabama's here. So I would think it's somebody that went missing right around in this area, right? You know, maybe somebody that went missing from Athens, Georgia, or Augusta, Georgia, or somewhere in this area. That's what I would, that's my first assumption. But I'm going to look at some missing persons case files because I couldn't find anybody in that area for some reason and so we have Vita Lou Powers went missing May 26 1982 from Nashville Tennessee she was 29 years old 5 foot 410 pounds she lived at 917 9th Avenue South in Nashville she has been missing since May 26 1982 doesn't give any other information we have Yolanda Jean Mall went missing from Birmingham Alabama since May 26, 1982, she was 30 years old, 5'5 five five to 5'6, five uh, 115, 125 pounds. She was to appear in court the morning of her disappearance for a divorce hearing. She spoke with her attorney around 9 a.m., however, she did not show up for court. She's never been heard from or seen since. Her car was found in an abandoned car lot near Captain D's. In the 1100 block of 3rd Avenue West. So. They don't know what happened to her. He says she was wearing beige pants and a red blouse the day of she disappeared for her daughter. The police report reflects Yolanda wearing a red short sleeve top with a white skirt. So. Car found in an opened, abandoned car lot. Very pretty young lady. And then we have Barbara Jean Baldwin. July 1st, 1978, Fayetteville, North Carolina. 28 years old, 5'250 pounds. The victim has not been seen or heard from since the early summer of 1978. And... Vernell Pickens, she was about five foot tall, around 130 pounds. She was 36 years old. She went missing in 1977 from Asheville, North Carolina. She returned to visit her family for a couple of days and then stated she was leaving again and going to rally. Family has not seen or heard from her since then. Black hair, brown eyes, no pictures. And the next two, I think, are men, but I just... You know, I just felt like it would be easier to put a, a woman in that type of a bag that the victim was found in. So I listed them first. But here's a man, Herman Caldwell from Columbia, South Carolina, 5'5 five five to 5'8. Five 
missing since 1982, last seen by his mother. He was en route to Charleston, South Carolina. There is no updated information on either him or his vehicle. The vehicle was a Pontiac Grand Prix. Black over silver tag number is SCGOK105. Short black hair, brown eyes, wearing black shoes. Blue flowered shirt, black pants, jewelry. 1978 Grand Pontiac Grand Prix. 1972, sorry. There's the information. And then we have James Elworth Craven, missing from Lexington, North Carolina, since March 6, 1985, 55 years old, 5 foot 8, 180, 190 pounds. He was seen on Wednesday, March 6, going out of town to either Winston, Salem, Statesville, or Charlotte, North Carolina. His family has not seen or heard from him since. His vehicle was located in a long-term parking lot at Charlotte Airport, and the keys were gone. So he had a dental bridge on the bottom of his mouth. Gray suede jacket, navy pants with pinstripes, ring on right hand. So if you have any information about who this Jane or John Doe could be, or what might have happened to any of those missing persons, please contact authorities and let them know. Um, feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to pray for their family and their loved ones. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.